Hi guys, Dr. Brad Maru. I want to talk specifically how you go about exercising a joint that actually may be in pain. Say if you have a problem with the shoulder joint or lower back or hips or something like this. There's a general sequence that you want to follow if you want to get it in a rehab correctly. And that's first, we want to work on the muscle first. We typically use a lacrosse ball or a foam roller and we would use the lacrosse ball into the area of inflamed muscle tissue. So basically, if it was tender right back here or tender in here, you would use the ball and against the wall, you'd work it in here. If you had tight hips or buttock, you would foam roll this area here, wherever was tender. That's your biggest indicator. Not so much tightness, but tenderness. Work that out first. Then you would stretch the opposing muscle group. So if your back shoulder was the weak area because your shoulders are rotated forward, you would stretch, you would foam roll and stretch the muscle first. And then you would do your exercises like like Y flies or wall angels or something like this. So we're doing the chest. Pec minor tends to be the most tight. So we'd work right in here over any hot and tender spots. And you really work the hot or tender spot in there with the ball. It's just easier than sometimes doing. You can do it with your hand too. Once you've done this, 30 seconds to one minute, then you'd work your stretch. So this one would be like Y stretch. So Y stretch is bringing the arm up in a Y formation, bringing the arm forward like that, and then holding there for one full minute. Then you would go about doing your exercise. So if I'm changing this posture to this posture, I'm gonna do the Superman exercise or a Y fly exercise. So I do an exercise, something like this, bring the arm up and back, hold and retract. Hold and retract, going nice and slow. But you would do say three sets of 15 to 20 or something like that. But that's gonna allow this chest, this part of the chest to relax and this part to strengthen and overall start to change the disparity in posture and actually help the joint recover normal function. So that sequence, work the muscles, stretch the opposing muscle group and then work out the muscle group that you need to strengthen.